does heart failure, especially preserved ejection fraction and anemia, do they go hand in hand? Is there a connection? Is there a cause and effect? Um, or are they just comorbidities? How does that, if you can explain that to our audience? Yeah, uh, anemia is an important comorbidity and it definitely uh, makes an impact on the prognosis of patients with heart failure, both reduced ejection fraction and preserved ejection fraction. But the percentage of patients with anemia is much higher in the heart failure of preserved ejection fraction. Mm. Uh, in in our studies, they have shown that as much as 60%, that is more than one in two, with heart failure preserved ejection fraction is likely to be anemic. Whereas one in three with heart failure reduced ejection fraction is likely to have anemia. And if uh, these patients with uh, anemia seem to have higher death rates rather than patients without anemia and correction of these anemia with intravenous iron injections when there is a documented iron deficiency seems to improve outcomes. It improves the quality of life. It improves their energy level, ability mm. to do their day-to-day -day work, and mm. also decreases the hospitalization rates due to heart failure. Right. So what you are saying is that if you manage the anemia, which is a comorbidity, uh, which may be a comorbidity of heart failure, uh, it not only improves the quality of life that you are living, um, but it also improves the outcomes and the prognosis uh, of yes. uh, the person. Yes. Uh, so apart from since we are talking of appropriate management, I know you mentioned IV, is that the uh, the standard of care for anemia when it's accompanying uh, patients with heart failure? Yes, uh, people don't like injections in general. Mm. <laughs> and uh, doctors are not very keen on giving injections. Other, unless otherwise, it's really needed. Uh, there have been studies which tried oral uh, ion therapy along with intravenous ion therapy. And it was found that oral ion therapy was not effective and it was only the intravenous ion therapy in heart failure was effective in improving the anemic symptoms and the mortality. This may be because uh, there's a lot of fluid overload in heart failure. So mm. even your gut wall has a lot of fluid lining it. So if you give it as an oral ion, the absorption is uh, not adequate in heart failure patients. Right. And this may be one of the reasons why the oral iron has not been found to be beneficial and it's an intravenous iron preparations are available and these are found to be uh, the only forms of therapy which are beneficial and proven value in heart failure. Right. Um, and does, uh, I mean, in general, in uh, India, anemia among women is uh, quite high. Um, I, I forget the numbers, but it's, it's fairly high numbers. Uh, but... Uh, you know, does that also show up? I mean, typically once uh, women get past uh, their menopause, uh, kind of anemia levels drop a little bit. Uh, but in terms of patients with heart failure, do you still see, uh, you know, different proportions of women uh, with anemia and heart failure as opposed to men? Yeah, in general, anemia is much more common in women. Mm. And especially because of the culture in India, uh, in, especially in the rural households and in many uh, uh, traditional house, it is always the woman who has the meals last. Right. And uh, when she comes to eat, there are very little vegetables or uh, meat or fish available for her. So she would most of the time eat only the rice and the gravy, and mm. uh, which does not contain enough mm -hmm. iron Nutrient. content and it's just carbohydrate content. And this contributes to a lot of anemia in general in the women and heart failure in uh, preserved ejection fraction, especially it's a uh, big problem as it is uh, the heart failure preserved ejection fraction is more common in women and uh, anemia, the significantly higher percentage of anemia in women. One question that's come up, uh, so is it only, um, you know, anemia can also, show up as other heart conditions or is it typically associated with heart failure? Yes, anemia is a big problem with heart failure 
Mm. But yes, it contributes even to coronary artery disease, morbidity and mortality. Right. And also other uh, conditions uh, like hypertension, uh, diabetes. In every uh, format, it adds on to the burden. Right. Thank you.